Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime. I'm Ms. Anne of Richard Stoffel Public Library. Today we're out in our community and we're at the fire department. We have uh, Brand Baker here who is the public educator for the fire department and she has a friend with her today. Can you tell us who this is? Yeah, so this is Sparky the fire dog. Um, he goes around the world promoting important fire safety messaging um, to kids all over the world and today he's actually joining us. So we're very excited to have him today for story time. And Brianne is going to read a few stories for us today um, all about fire engines and what the fire department does for everybody in the community. The Little Fire Truck by Marjorie Coolier, illustrated by Bob Kohler, published by Henry Holt and Company. I'm a little fire truck. My driver's name is Jill. We zip all over town. My siren's loud and shrill. I'm a little fire truck. There's lots of work to do. We put out smoky fires and rescue animals too. I'm a little fire truck. I'm engine 45. Big lights flash. Time to dash. A fire's on Lake Drive. I'm a little fire truck, the crew slides down the pole. Firefighters hurry, each has a special role. I'm a little fire truck, they jump into their boots, grab their masks and helmets, headlamps, tanks, and suits. I'm a little fire truck, my air horn starts to blast. Blam, 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 we leave the station fast. I'm a little fire truck, just pumping water out. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. It's flowing through my spout. I'm a little fire truck, tall ladders reach so high. Firefighters climbing as smoke fills up the sky. I'm a little fire truck, the crew breaks down the doors. Holding pikes and axes, they crawl along the floor. I'm a little fire truck, the chief and captain shout. No one's home, no one's hurt, the fire's finally out. I'm a little fire truck, Jill drives our firefighters back. They check and clean their gear and hoses on the rack. I'm a little fire truck, we work hard night and day. Speeding to the rescue, I love my job, hooray. Hi everybody, this is Firefighter Matt. Hi. And he's gonna join us today for Firefighter Dress Up. So we're gonna see uh, what a firefighter wears and how they get dressed before they go to a fire. So what do we think Firefighter Matt's gonna put on first? We have boots and pants, we have a jacket, we have gloves. So take a guess at what you think he's gonna put on first. And Firefighter Matt's gonna give you a hint because he's gonna take off his own boots. And the first thing he's going to put on is? My boots. So firefighters keep their boots inside their pants so that they can get dressed super quick so that they can get to the fire as fast as they can. So see how fast that was? So we have winter coming up. So if you want to do that with your snow pants, you can put your boots in your pants and get dressed super fast like a firefighter. So next, what's firefighter Matt going to put on? Do we think his coat? Firefighter Matt, what do we think? This is well, a tricky one. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put on something that's easier to put on now than later. So we're going to start with my hoodie. So you might have something like this at home that you might wear in the winter, but you'll see that this is going to protect Firefighter Matt, all of his skin, to make sure that all of his skin is covered so he's protected from the fire. So next, what do we have, Matt? Well, next I'm going to put on my coat. Is Matt starting to look more like a firefighter now? I think so. Perfect. Zip that tight. Great. So next, what do we have? Well, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my breathing apparatus. So when we go into a fire, we get to have a nice, fresh source of air. 
so we don't have to breathe in any of the toxins or contaminants that are present when things are burning. So we have the mask. So this is going to make Firefighter Matt look a little bit funny, but it's a really important part of making sure that he's protected. So now when Matt talks and he breathes, he's going to sound a little bit funny. A little muffled. A little bit, but that's an important piece to make sure that he's protected. So he's all tucked in. We'll grab your helmet. So it's really important that firefighters wear helmets so that nothing falls on their head, right? Okay. All done up. So now firefighter Matt's going to put on what we call an SVBA, but it is a tank. And inside that tank is oxygen. So like we breathe oxygen, it's important that firefighters have oxygen too. So he's going to put his tank on. Do up all of the important straps. Now he's going to turn on his tank so it makes a beeping noise so that we know that it's on. And the last piece. And this connects to his mask, and you're going to hear him breathe in a minute. You can also hear me talk. Yeah, so I this is like a talk. speaker. So you hear him talk, and he kind of sounds like Darth Vader a little bit, right? So now he's going to put on his gloves. So now we see that firefighter Matt has no skin showing, right? So now he's ready, he's able to go into the fire and fight the fire. Right? Ready? Go. Good. May I ask how much that tank weighs? Uh, everything is about 50 pounds. Wow. <laughs> yeah, very, yeah. very heavy. And then we have to carry stuff on top of that. So it's really important to exercise every day yeah. and train. Yeah, really. and firefighters have to practice putting on all of their gear because they have to be able to get dressed in a minute. So that's super, super fast. So you guys can practice at home if you can get all your snow pants and your jacket and everything on in a minute. Can the kids drop by the uh, fire department anytime? They can. Um, we're closed right now to the public, but as soon as we reopen, you're welcome to come by anytime. Um, and if you visit our website, if you're coming with a group, you can also fill out a form for a large group to come and visit us too. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Firefighter Matt. All right. That's great. Hi, everybody. I'm Firefighter Walsh. I'm just going to take you through what we have on our trucks. Um, when we arrive at an incident, we have everything that we need to manage pretty much any situation we have. So this really confusing panel, this is all the gauges and stuff uh, that the driver operator will set to get water flowing for a fire. So it's very complicated, but let's move down. And we also have a section of selection of tools. We have all these little things that we need. We can pull them in and out really quick. Cameras and whatnot, all little ladders. Uh, we also have a bunch of things for, this is our high rise pack, so if we're at an apartment building, we can take these hoses up to a fire. We have lights, we have, we have a whole selection of, of, of rescue equipment. Uh, we also do ice water, so if there's a, a, a problem in the water or on the ice, uh, we have a raft and we have suits and everything that we can go and rescue people. Um, we have packs. If there's a, a grass fire, we can put a pack of water on and just go run real quick and put things out. Um, we have a, a bunch of tools for uh, lifting heavy cars and, and, and trucks and stuff that get into an accident. This is a big bag and it fills with air and it'll lift things. It's amazing. We also have some fire extinguishers. And then on the other side of the truck, we have a whole slew of other tools and things that we can pull out whenever we need them. Fire truck dreams by Sharon Crisco, illustrated by Dave Motrim, published by Running Press Kids.
A siren turns off, the sun fades away. Fire truck is drained, he's had a big day. From raging brush fires to kittens and trees, he's kept the town safe from danger with ease. He looks to the homes and then to the park, all quiet and safe, asleep in the dark. His headlights turn on, his ladder's locked tight. He blinks and he yawns, then whispers, good night. Off to the station to shower and clean, bumper to taillight and all in between. He washes and scrubs, he shines up his bells. His nose starts to twitch from rich, sudsy smells. All shiny and fresh, his tummy draws tight, then echoes a growl across the black night. He pulls to the pump, he opens his pack, he swishes and swigs, then makes one last lap. His eyelids grow heavy, it's time to head back. He chooses his book, his flashers click clack. He backs in his bay, his bucket pulls close, he stretches his valves, his axles and hose. An icy wind blasts, he shivers a chill. He closes his book and clenches his grill. He turns on the heat and nestles in tight. The stars twinkle low, the moon casts its light. His pressures release, he lets off some steam. His hoses deflate as he drifts to a dream. Alarms start to blare, there's trouble nearby. His grill sniffs the air, there's smoke in the sky. His sirens call out, he zooms to the sand. He finds a campfire that got out of hand. A hero's parade to end his big day. The children salute him, hip hip hooray! The campers all cheer, they offer him s'mores. Sweet treats fill his dreams, he grins as he snores. I hope you've enjoyed today's story time with the Stovall Fire Department. And I'd like to thank Brianna Baker for her stories, Sparky for joining with us, and also um, a thank you to volunteer firefighter Walsh. And hopefully you'll join us again next Friday for another story time with the Richard Stovall Public Library.